what is photodiode now we can draw a pn junction diode this is a pn junction diode this is p side and n side and this is reverse bias means negative terminal of uh, the external battery is connected to pn junction diode and it will be strong battery because <coughs> to produce current uh, emf of the battery will be very large positive terminal an external uh, load resistance is uh, should be connected to the circuit so that uh, the battery will not damage the pn junction diode this is load resistance rl and we know that uh, initially reverse bias pn junction diode offers very high resistance against current uh, in this case reverse current will be flowing from n region to p region this is the reverse current i i will be flowing from p region to n region through the junction under bracket of i what we can write reverse current reverse current and in this case if light is applied if light is incident on this reverse biased pn junction diode in that in this case the circuit will start to uh, uh, start to work or reverse current will become large that means in the absence of light in the absence of light uh, reverse current will be very small this current is very small current small reverse current in the absence of so in the absence of light in the absence of light small uh, there should be very small reverse current and uh, this diode this diode means it offers what type of resistance it offers it offers very high resistance very high resistance very high resistance right hand side here uh, what we can write this is the diagram but if uh, a light is incident or in the presence of light in the presence of light uh, reverse current will become very large reverse current will become very large initial diagram then final diagram uh, in this case what will happen now uh, light is incident on this reverse bias pn junction diode this is the light light is incident on this uh, reverse bias pn junction diode in this case Uh, say light is incident on this pn junction diode this is light incident in that case reverse current becomes very large current here this reverse current becomes very large large reverse current will be flowing through the circuit large reverse current will be flowing through the circuit large reverse current will be flowing through the circuit and in this case this diode offers what type of resistance it offers what type of resistance please response
it offers what type of resistance? Please response. High resistance and low resistance. It offers low resistance. It offers uh, low resistance. And, and obviously it is a reverse biased pin junction diode. It is one type of reverse biased pin junction diode. And here it is also again a reverse bias pn junction. Both are reverse bias pn junction diode. One is the absence of any light, another is in the presence of light. Reverse bias pn junction diode. And uh, the second case is what reverse bias pn junction diode, which is known as photodiode, which is known as photodiode. Photodiode. And this is in the presence of light. In the presence of uh, light. In the presence of light. When light of suitable energy is incident. When light of suitable energy is incident when light of suitable energy is incident on the photodiode on the photodiode on the photodiode comma more electrons more valence electrons obviously more valence electrons move valence electrons move from valence band to conduction band from valence band to conduction band valence band to conduction band provided the energy of the incident photon the energy of the incident photon energy of the incident photon is greater than the forbidden energy gap is greater than the forbidden energy gap forbidden energy gap therefore current in the circuit increases therefore current in the circuit increases current in the circuit increases and if we explain in terms of energy band diagram that means conduction band and valence band This is conduction band and this is valence band. In valence band we have valence electrons which are bound to uh, the nucleus of silicon or impurity atoms and there are few conduction electrons uh, holes and conduction electrons and this is the forbidden energy gap EG. 
this is the forbidden energy gap E G. And in this case, if light is incident, if light is incident on uh, this is the light which is incident on a reverse biased pin junction diode. In that case, what will happen? Conduction electrons will jump from conduction band to valence band. Uh, valence electrons will jump from VB to CB. Please response. Please response. Sir, balance band the conduction band the jump could be. Balance electrons will ah, be very good. In that case, this balance electrons will jump from valence band to conduction band. If light is incident, uh, if light is incident on reverse via spin junction diode, in that case, this valence electrons uh, will jump from valence band to conduction band. Conduction band, and in that case, number of conduction electrons in conduction band increases. Uh, it indicates what? It indicates that uh, valence electrons. Valence electrons jump from uh, not uh, here. What we can write obviously jump from valence band to conduction band. Valence band to conduction band. Balance band to conduction band uh, and what increases and uh, the number of conduction electrons increases. Number of conduction electrons. Number of conduction electrons in conduction band increases. In conduction band increases hence conductivity increases hence its conductivity increases its conductivity increases and what about reverse current reverse current decreases now increases reverse current increases reverse current increases reverse current increases reverse current increases